Hello and hi friends and welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, this video will be about SAP Easy Access Screen or SAP Home Screen. Okay, so let's get started. On the top of the screen, you will find here is a menu bar. Okay, the menu bar or the menus in it are designed in such a way that it will depend upon the transaction or the level of the transaction in which you are presenting. Okay, as I am now in the SAP Easy Access screen, you will find the menus are Menu, Edit, Favorite, Extra, System, Help. If I go to the other transaction, see, the menus get changed. Now the menus are Material, Edit, Go to, Default, System, Help. Okay. Again, if I change the transaction, now the menus are Program, Edit, Go to, System, Help. Okay, you will find that the system and the help in the menu bar remains same irrespective of the transaction in which you are present. Okay, you can call the sub items in the menu by clicking on it. Okay. Next we have is a standard toolbar. The standard toolbar contains the icon of the most important function which you will require as a user or a consultant. The icons which are grayed out cannot be used, but the icons which are colored can be used. Okay, the gray, the uh, grayed out icons or the colored icons are de also depends on the transaction in which you are present. Okay, the standard toolbar contains save, cancel, find, find next, print, uh, new GUI window, help, customize local layout. Okay. To get the information of the icons, if you take the mouse pointer over the icon and without clicking on it, if you remain there, you will get a brief information about that icon. Okay. Next, we have is a title bar. The title bar is situated below the standard toolbar. Okay. The title bar shows the title or the information of the screen or the transaction in which you are present. Currently, we are in the home screen. The home screen is called as SAP is access screen. If I go to the other transaction, see, if I go to the CS03, it will show the name of the transaction or the title of the transaction, okay, in the title bar. One more example. See. Okay. So at the last we have is a task bar. Okay, the task bar is situated at the bottom of the screen and extends over the entire width of the screen. Okay, on the left hand side you get a system messages. On the right hand side there are four fields in which the information of the system is displayed. By clicking here the help button you will find the name of the system, client user, response time, interpolation time of the system. Besides it you will find the name of the server. Besides the name of the server, you will find here is a OVR. Okay, OVR is a overwrite mode. Okay, or you can toggle between insert mode and OVR mode. Okay, there are two basic typing modes in, in SAP. It's overwrite mode and insert mode. Okay, to show you the difference, I will go in transaction. Okay, one, I will try to enter four. See, in overwrite mode, if I try to insert, 3 in between 2 and 4, the 4 will get overwritten. Okay. Now, if I switch it to the insert mode, if I try to insert the 3 in between 2 and 4, okay, the 3 will get inserted. Okay. So, just remember in overwrite mode, the character will get overwritten on the right hand side of the cursor. In insert mode, you can insert the uh, numeric or character in between also. Okay. On the left hand side, you will find a system messages. To show you example, I will just try to execute. Okay, see, this is the system messages. Okay. Yes. Now, we are coming at the end of the video to take a, just a quick revision to help you remember. This at the top, you find is a menu bar. Below of the menu bar, there is a standard toolbar. Below standard toolbar, we have the title bar. Okay. The rectangular white field over here is a command field. By in the command field, you can directly insert the transaction code and navigate to it. Okay. 
at the bottom you will find here is a taskbar on the left hand of the side of the taskbar you will get the system messages and on the right hand side you will find the information of the current system okay yes so with this we will end our video so stay tuned with our channel for our upcoming series on sap pp and excel basics till then keep learning and keep growing thank you